Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome to another Now I See Ministry daily devotional video. I praise the Lord for everything that he has done to bless this ministry, to be able to bring these videos to you and to bring God's word, but that's what the Lord our God does. Whenever it's the Lord's word that needs to be heard, he finds a way, he finds avenues for us to bring it out. So I praise the Lord for that. He uses us the way he needs us, needs us to be used. And I pray that the Lord is blessing you abundantly in your lives and in your ministries or anything that you have going on. Well, actually, yes, in your ministries. Everything you do in your life is a ministry toward God. So I praise the Lord that the blessing from the Lord is abundant for you and your ministry. So, but please, my name is Brian. Hit that little subscribe button if the Lord is impressing you to and click that little bell to get notifications for any new daily devotional videos. Now, we are on the topic of the Ten Commandments, and today we are on commandment number four. Now, this one's a pretty lengthy one, so we need to dive right into it. So we're going to the book of Exodus in chapter 20, verses 8 through 11, and God's word says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So praise the Lord for that, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord, for the blessed day and hallowed day of the sabbath that's all i can say right there is in a nutshell is a big praise the lord for what he has done he separated this day among any other day the sabbath day to spend time with us for us to be in the lord to spend time with him so this is the purpose of the sabbath is truly for us and the lord to be together to spend time with us so he can spend time with his creation this is the just of the sabbath day but let's kind of break it down a little bit starting with the first um, verse verse number eight where it says remember the sabbath day to keep it holy now brothers and sisters a lot of people seem to have forgotten this particular verse they don't seem to remember it, or they just kind of seem to put it on the back burner. Um, now, when you remember the Sabbath day, you know that it is the day that you are supposed to spend with the Lord. Six, day, six days you shall labor and do all of your work. Hmm. Or all your work. Huh. So, we have six days in where we labor that we can uh, perform tasks that is not just for the Lord that we can do for our brothers and sisters. But we can also do that on the seventh day. There are some things that we can still do on the Sabbath day that um, as long as we are ministering to others' needs, but we'll get into that a little bit later. But the seventh day is the seventh is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. So here it says, what day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God? So this is truly the Lord's day. The Sabbath day is the Lord's day. Okay, it's not the first day of the week. It's not the second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth day of the week. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. This is the Lord's day. In it you shall do no work. You, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your midst. Or within your gates. So, what does that mean? Now, when when you Sabbath with the Lord, you are taking rest with the Lord. You are resting on this day. Now, these there are two ways for us to rest on the day. Okay, there is the rest that we get, and the rest you give to others. So, this is basically what this verse, verse number ten 
is talking about here is you're not just resting yourself you're resting and you're giving rest to others so you take rest and you give rest to others this is what it means to sabbath with people with your brothers and sisters okay if you um now mind you if you have an ox in a ditch you know there are certain things that are life-threatening if you're a doctor and somebody's had a you know had a heart attack and you have to go on the sabbath day and perform open heart surgery this is a part of your healing this is a part of your healing ministry that the lord has put into you so you go and do that operation on the sabbath you take care of your brothers and sisters you minister to their needs this is what it means it doesn't mean that you go out and you're intentionally doing it to make money for yourself you're doing it to heal others the money is just the byproduct because you know hospitals need the money to um, continue to do this work and to give medical care for other patients so they they need the money but it's not you actually taking the money on this day because you want to you're there to do a task to save your brothers and sisters as best you can how the lord has shown you how to do that now for for in six days the lord made the heavens and the earth the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day therefore the lot the lord blessed the sabbath day and hallowed it and now, as we said before, in creation, that, and this is going back to creation. This is, this is a firm ground, foundation of what creation truly was. You know, what the Sabbath day truly meant, the seventh day. And for us to be with our Lord and Savior. Um, Adam and Eve daily got to spend time with our Lord with God, with Jesus. So they they knew him on a personal level. They walked and they talked and, you know, they still fell into sin because God gives us that will. And we have our own free will. But they decided to, through their will, to almost be like God, you know, falling into sin. Um, but here we were talking about the day that we need to spend time with our Lord and Savior. So this is a very profound commandment. And this is one of the ways that we show our love for God. You know, this is, this is the, the first tablet of stone is our love for God. And we have gone through all four of those now. Now this is a wonderful way. This is not only a way for God to show for us to show our love for God, but this is also a way that God shows love for us. You know, when you when you think about it, you have to take rest. If you don't take rest, your body wears down. You know, there there were even studies done on people that uh, worked like ten or eleven day work weeks as opposed to people that worked six day work weeks and rested on the seventh day. And there were people that worked that excessive days and they were less healthy than the ones that rested once a week you know especially on the sabbath day so brothers and sisters like i said this was a pretty profound commandment and it's one that we shall not forget and always remember the sabbath day the sabbath day remember the sabbath day so, brothers and sisters, I pray this video has blessed you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you and farewell.